The Shelter in Place IBPA Benjamin Franklin Awards Ceremony. Category, Teen Fiction, 13 to 18 years. Hello, I'm Lee Wind. In the Teen Fiction 13 to 18 years category, we have three finalists. Two will be silver winners, but only one will win gold. The finalists are Bobby Ether and the Jade Academy, publisher Kohler Books. The Next to Last Mistake, publisher Light Messages Publishing. Street of Storytellers, publisher Rootstock Publishing. And the gold winner is... Well, teens are always on their cell phones. Uh, Light Messages Publishing for the Next to Last Mistake. Hi, my name is Amalia John, and I'm the author of The Next to Last Mistake. I'd like to thank IBPA for this award and for honoring independent book publishers in this way. I don't think anyone ever writes a book expecting it to win an award. For most of us, it's enough that our readers enjoy our work and find themselves somewhere in the pages. Accepting this Ben Franklin Award is certainly the icing on the cake. I'd also like to thank my publisher, Light Messages, for taking a chance on a quiet, character-driven YA contemporary about cows, friendship, and finding your place in the world. Not every editor would be willing to champion a book about the exploration of ordinary Tuesdays and the power they have to shape our lives, but Elizabeth Turnbull was the perfect advocate for Tessa's story. Finally, I'd like to thank the three women who inspired the next to last mistake, Holly Ank, Susie Brown, and Janisha Bagby. I love you all. Thank you. Congratulations. The nonprofit Independent Book Publishers Association, IBPA, holds a mission to lead and serve the independent publishing community through advocacy, education, tools for success, and the most heartfelt and enthusiastic virtual award ceremony possible. Stay safe. Post show. We also caught up with silver winner Kohler Books. First off, I'd like to thank the IBPA as well as congratulate my fellow award winners. With so many amazing books and talented authors in this genre, it's truly an honor to have been selected. For anyone who doesn't know, my book, Bobby Ether and the Jade Academy, is a contemporary fantasy along the lines of Miss Peregrine's or Harry Potter, but with an added twist of spiritual fiction to give it a more mystical vibe. I've always wondered how these genre crossing themes would be received. Thus, I'm deeply gratified by this acknowledgement. On a personal note, I'd like to give a special thank you to my big sister, Michelle Boyer Dykstra, who passed away a few years ago. She was my first editor, my toughest critic, but also my biggest fan. She's the person who motivated me the most and pushed me to pursue my goals. She never got to see the finished manuscript, but I know she would have been proud. I dedicate this award to you, Michelle. And silver winner, Rootstock Publishing. I want to say thank you to the IBPA, to the hardworking judges, to everyone who's been involved with this honor. Street of Storytellers was supposed to be my first book. It wound up being my 17th. It started as a nonfiction project about the experiences I had spending some time in Muslim Asia in the early 1980s, but that book was rejected 75 times and never published. Years later, I began working on a novel based on my experiences and new research, and that got nobody's attention until I finally found a little independent publisher in Vermont called Rootstock. So to have this recognition for a project that I've been working on, off and on, but very off and on for 38 years, well, I don't really know how to tell you how much it means to me, except to say thank you. Thank you for joining us to celebrate independent publishing. <laughs>